Today I've got a very interesting story for you. And it's about an American scientist with a quest to live to 110 years of age in perfect health. Now, following a unique 100 day experiment, 56 year old Dr. Joseph de Turi was subjected to an array of biological tests, which revealed that he appears to have successfully reversed his age by a whole decade. So let's take a look at exactly how he accomplished this and how you and I might be able to replicate his results, or perhaps even better them. First, I'm going to outline the various tests that were used to determine the degree of age reversal experienced by Dr. de Turi. Now, before the experiment, his biological age was determined to be 44, which is already pretty impressive compared to his chronological age of 56. However, following the test done immediately after the 100 day experiment, it was found that Dr. Duturi's biological age was now 34, a further incredible reduction of 10 years. The tests used to determine this age reduction included telomere length, inflammatory markers, and stem cell count. Telomere length was increased by a remarkable 20%, inflammatory markers were reduced by 50%, and his stem cell count was significantly increased. Sleep quality also improved during the experiment, with more time spent in both deep and REM sleep, which undoubtedly contributed to the rejuvenation process. Now, telomeres, as I'm sure most of you know, are the protective caps at the end of chromosomes. They're predictably shortened with age, as every time your cells divide, the telomeres get shorter. And when telomeres become too short, it can signal the cell to enter a state called senescence, or in some cases, trigger apoptosis, another word for programmed cell death. So the idea is that by preventing or slowing your telomeres from shortening, this will extend the life of your cells, and in theory at least, your life. So the fact that Dr. Duturi apparently lengthened his telomeres by 20% does seem like quite a remarkable achievement in such a short period of time. Now, I'll be very interested to learn if he's able to maintain or perhaps even improve on this result with continued longevity protocols. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the term inflammaging, a word that's used to describe the pro-aging effects of systemic inflammation. So the fact that Duturi experienced such a significant reduction in every inflammatory marker is a fairly reliable indicator of anti-aging effects having taken place during the experiment. And those positive effects just kept on coming with a notable increase in Dr. Duturi's stem cell count. Now we know that increasing the number of stem cells in the body has numerous benefits, including enhanced tissue repair and regeneration, improved vascular health, better immune function, and potential neuroprotective effects. And it's because stem cells can differentiate into various cell types that they help replace damaged or aged cells, thereby contributing to overall health and rejuvenation. So next, let's take a look at Dr. Duturi's experiment. Dr. Duturi is a highly decorated former US Navy officer, and among its many roles, he serves as a Special Operations Chief Engineer, specializing in saturation diving, and has even authored several diver training manuals. However, he now works as a medical researcher and co-owner of Tampa's Undersea Oxygen Clinic, where he is currently investigating the use of hyperbaric medicine. So how exactly did Dr. Duturi achieve these amazing results? Well, it was all down to an experiment dubbed Project Neptune 100 where the Turi spent a record 100 days underwater in a pressurized hyperbaric chamber, specifically the Jules Undersea Lodge, which is submerged 30 feet underwater in a lagoon situated in Key Largo, Florida. The Turi used the hyperbaric conditions of his underwater environment to both enhance his health and reverse biological aging. The chamber maintained a pressurized environment at approximately 1.6 times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. And it's this increased pressure that's a key component of the hyperbaric conditions Duturi was studying. Now, although during the experiment he was breathing air with a normal atmospheric concentration of oxygen, which is 21%, because it was being delivered under elevated pressure, this effectively enhanced oxygen availability in the body, which is what's thought to have promoted the various health benefits he experienced. So how can you and I replicate, or perhaps even improve on, the results experienced by Dr. Duturi? After all, spending 100 days underwater is not only utterly impractical and likely outrageously expensive, it's also probably not a lot of fun. Well, the simple answer is to engage in regular hyperbaric oxygen chamber therapy sessions. Nowadays, they're easy to access, with many hyperbaric centers available throughout the US and Europe. And here's how the technology works. The air we normally breathe contains 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, with the remaining 1% consisting of noble gases and carbon dioxide. 
However, during a hyperbaric oxygen therapy session, known as HBOT for short, you breathe 95 to 100% pure oxygen. Additionally, the chamber is typically pressurized to around 2 bar. And by comparison, the atmospheric pressure we normally experience at sea level is only around 1 bar. This increased pressure forces more oxygen to dissolve into your blood plasma. Now, your hemoglobin, that's the protein that usually carries oxygen, is already saturated. But now your plasma carries a considerable oxygen boost. And this oxygen-rich plasma travels throughout your body, even reaching areas with poor circulation or damaged blood vessels. This flood of oxygen to tissues can have multiple benefits. And studies have shown hyperbaric oxygen therapy to increase telomere length, reduce cellular senescence, significantly increase stem cell count, reduce systemic inflammation, accelerate healing, improve cognitive function, and provide visible improvements in skin quality. It's no surprise then to hear that HBOT is thought by some biohackers to be the holy grail of anti-aging. Now that description might be a bit of a stretch. However, combining this therapy with a healthy diet and exercise, together with select longevity supplements and complementary therapies such as regular saunas may very well be the ultimate anti-aging health protocol. So if you're serious about longevity, you should at least think about giving HBOT a try. In fact, it would not be unreasonable to assume that even better results than those achieved by Dr. Duturi might well be possible. After all, due to the long duration of his experiment, he was restricted to using 21% oxygen, not 95-100% to as used in most 60-90 to minute HBOT sessions. Personally, I'm sufficiently convinced regarding the potential benefits that I've gone ahead and booked myself a course of HBOT therapy sessions at a nearby facility. So I'll keep you updated on my results and if possible, I'll record some video footage of the whole process. So don't forget to subscribe if that's of interest to you. That's all for now and as usual, take care, be healthy and I'll see you again soon.